And then they finally end up getting you. You finally end up getting that call. Hey, yeah, we need you to come down here. We think you be ready. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So you end up paying all your fees. Your um, you get your tweet card. Bam. You gotta pay for your drug and background test. Bam. And then they got the drug test coming. I'm like, damn, man, I know I smoked my smoked that blunt about two, three weeks ago. I, I might be clean. I don't know. If you don't know. What you if if you don't know if you're gonna pass your drug test or not, don't waste these people's time. Or if you're still unsure about it, hey, go to Walmart. Go to um what was that? Walmart, Walgreens, Amazon, and get you one of those at home drug test kits. And if you dirty, you need to call back, like, hey, yeah, um, I'm not gonna be ready right now. You better you better make up some kind of good ass excuse on hey, this this Yo, 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 what up, Egg Long Shoreman? On this good old Saturday. Oh, man. I got to retouch up on this right here because it, it, it seems like some people don't don't get the message. Go, car. Come on. About uh, becoming a long shoreman. So I'm going to uh, retouch up on this. Get your tweet card. Uh, make sure you don't have any uh, felonies. No drug cases, charges, anything. If you have any drug charges, nine times out of ten, you're not gonna get enough. Uh, have you some kind of physical strength? You ain't gotta have the 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 you don't you don't have to be the strongest, but you gotta be physical and uh, have agility. Because you know some jobs require you. You might have to climb on something, or you might have, or you might have to be. When you're lashing, you know, lash can be a physical job. Hatch tent can be a physical job. So all that's like in your arms, shoulders, um, legs. Yeah, you gotta lift with your legs, not your back. Especially when, like when you mess with the luggage from the um, cruise ship. Yeah, some of that luggage can be heavy. Yeah, my dad, he threw his back out. I pulled a muscle and uh, messed his back up. And, uh, you know, you just gotta lift with your legs, not your back. Uh, let me see, it's another one. Oh, the uh, third one or the fourth one, the most important thing where a lot of people mess up at. Make sure your system is clean. You don't want to do any drugs because you're going to have to take a physical. You're going to have to take that physical and that drug and the drug test. Hell, some people do hair, but uh, yeah, some people do hair. But I say I pour. I'm not sure about everybody else pour, but down here we do a um a pee test. So make sure your feet clean. But when you know, for any job you put an application in for, you don't have to take a drug test. So you want to make sure your system clean. I had it happen to me. I put somebody on, told them what all they need to do. Same thing I'm telling y'all. Make sure you sit clean. Make sure you feel good. Work out, whatever. You know, you gotta stay ready. And you out here doing drugs, I ain't gonna tell you what to do, what not to do. Just like they told us to don't do drugs. People still do drugs. But you don't want to do drugs and then you go put an application in. Thinking. Traffic crazy. Thinking you're not gonna you're gonna uh think you're gonna pass a drug test. And let's say like, yeah, you smoke you a blunt two weeks later. I mean two weeks ago. 
And then they finally end up getting you up, you finally end up getting that call. Hey, yeah, we need you to come down here. We think you be ready? You're like, yeah, yeah. So you end up paying all your fees. Your um you get your twig card, bam. You gotta pay for your drug and background test, bam. And then they got the drug test coming. You're like, damn, man, I know I smoked my smoked that blunt about two, three weeks ago. I, I might be clean. I don't know. If you don't know. When you if, if you don't know if you're gonna pass your drug test or not, don't waste these people time. Or if you're still unsure about it, hey, go to Walmart. Go to um what was that? Walmart, Walgreens, Amazon, and get you one of those at-home drug test kits. And if you dirty, you need to call back, like, hey, yeah, um, I'm not gonna be ready right now. You better you better make up some kind of good ass excuse on hey, this this day is not gonna work for me. I don't know. If you go in there and you fail that drug test, you can hang it up. You can hang it up and come along with something because you're not, you done paid all that money to, uh, yeah, you, you paid that money to to be a long showman. And once you fail that drug test, yeah, they, they're not going to let you in. I don't know if it's going to be like, come back in. Hell, it might be, they might tell you either you, either you gonna you can come back when you clean or nah we know you dirty nah we, we don't need this type of um people working down here this is a drug free workplace because so if you fail a drug then targets already on your back you don't want to have a target on your back when you coming into the industry no so probably if you fail a drug test when you're trying to get into the industry yeah you probably gonna have hell trying to get back in and hey can I get a redo or can I, can I come back once I get clean can you come back so let's say if you, if you come back once you get clean you just you wasting people time and then like I said you gonna have that bulls on your back so you you always like that he might be a liability he might come to work but she might come to work high if I get hurt if they get hurt they're not gonna get paid or even worse, you come to work high or drunk and you get into an accident and you seriously hurt someone or even kill somebody, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. Probably do some prison time. Um, prison time and cost the company millions of dollars because it could be a lawsuit right there. Because they're going to test. You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna get a drug test. Out there. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna get a drug test. The company can face a major lawsuit. So I don't think you wanna put that kind of pressure on it. And that's the most important thing, man. You have to be clean when you come down here, man. Whatever you do in your off time, that's on you. Just don't come to work like that. Don't come to work in your system. If you want you know if you wanna do this and do that, take you some time off. But when you come back, make sure you clean. And that's it. But yeah, that's all I had to say about that, man. I had to, uh, I had to do a video on this because I had a, I know somebody that this happened to. And I told them to run down everything, like I said earlier, like same thing I'm telling y'all. I told them the same thing. So when they came, when they came to the drug test, they were like, "Man, why you didn't tell me y'all have what is it, an on hand nurse or something?" I'm like, "What? I don't know what you talking about. What you talking about?" So I guess when they want to go take their drug test, they had someone in there with them. And I'm like, damn, what the hell going on over there? I'm gonna be a boat, so. But yeah, they had someone in there with them. I say, like, dang, it sound like we in damn prison, on probation or something. You gotta see you pull your, excuse my language, pull your dick out? Damn, I wonder how they do the women today. Do they sit in there watch you pull your stuff out? But yeah, that, that's crazy right there. That's, yeah, that's like invading people's privacy. I, I don't agree with that, but hey, it's like, you should, you should be ready. You should be ready at all times to pass a drug test, man. But I'm going to long short, man. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all have y'all a good day. Uh, a good weekend, positive weekend, productive weekend. And I'll catch y'all later.